Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the ninth episode of At Home with Maisie and Jordan. How are you, Jordan? Yeah, I'm not too bad. I can't believe it's number nine already. I feel like we say it every single time, but it just feels like everything's flying by. Well, I have a burning question for you since it oh, was man. Valentine's Day on Sunday. <laughs> well, Charlotte, what do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> have you got the ring yet? No. Oh. So I've Ryan's up in Lincoln, no question yet. I just, yeah, just one of those. I'm afraid this year we had to do like a virtual Valentine's. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yeah. Fingers crossed, though. It's got to be soon, surely. <laughs> surely, surely. <laughs> right. So, do you want to introduce our guest today, Jordan? Yes, yeah, so today we are very lucky and we will be speaking with Tommy James from Tommy James Photography um, and we're going to find out all about him and what you guys should be thinking about when you're looking for your photographer. Fabulous, I will bring him in. Good, e good evening ladies. Hi Tommy, you alright? Good, thank you. Good evening. Hello Charlotte, how are you? So serious. <laughs> how are you Tommy? I'm good, thank you. Good. <laughs> How was your Midlands online wedding fair that you've recently done? Um, yeah, it was uh, It was pretty good, to be fair. The biggest event that we've had yet. Uh, we had 713 people watch, so uh, mm -hmm. it's the biggest one we've done to date, so yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> and so, do you um, be Mr Tommy James Photography in that, or...? Pardon? Do you be Mr. Tommy James Photography? Yeah, so I, I do run Midlands Online Wedding Fair, but I also uh, put Tommy James Photography on there. So I am a supplier on there as well. Wow, that's brilliant. For anybody that's not seen their Facebook page or their Instagram, you should go and check it out. It's a brilliant, brilliant way for you to get some ideas for your wedding planning and find some really good suppliers. So we'll make sure that we put the link in with the video. Jordan, do you want to kick us off with the first question? Yeah, so Tommy, we were just wondering, what would you recommend that couples kind of think about when they're on their on the search for their perfect photographer? Um, well, first of all, I'd probably hit one of the social media platforms, um, you know, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and sort of go through... Um, photographers and see what style that you actually like um, because obviously photographers will stick to a certain style um, you can't really go to a photographer and ask them to change their style so yeah. you want to go and find the style that you like um, from there then I would start looking for the photographers that offer that style and then we to get my words out sorry we to it down from there to the one that you want to use. Um, so yeah, I would also I would always start with trying to find what what you're actually into, what style. Okay, and what's your kind of like style of photography? I'd say it's 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 quite natural, but it has got uh, an aspect of sort of formal in it. So when with my style, I will um, only pose the formal images um, and I will obviously pose the sign in the register, but for everything else I just allow to happen. So I capture it as it happens. So it is quite, you know, um, sort of candy, if anything. Right. Do you choose that style based on what you like as a photographer or do you pick that because you think that's the best style for a wedding? Um, I don't know. I, it's a hard question to ask. I think maybe the style maybe found me. I didn't go and look for a style to copy. Um, I think it's just naturally progressed into what I do. Um, you know, when I when when I did my first ever wedding in two thousand and twelve, it was a lot. It was quite formal, but I'd never done a wedding before, so I, I needed to know. That I had to get everything so you know I went through Google and got lists of what I should be capturing on that day um, 
and, and almost read the list and got made sure I got every photo. But now, you know, I'm I'm just hovering under 200 weddings. I know what's coming next. Um, so my style is sort of just, it's, it's sort of made itself, if anything. I haven't chased a style. Um, so, yeah. And is there something, is there like a step-by-step -step process that couples need to go through when they're booking with you? So what process would you take them through? Okay, so obviously there's the initial contact. So once contact's been made, uh, we'll check availability and ask the location uh, because I only do cover um, a 40 mile radius around Nuneaton. Uh, Nuneaton's where I'm based. Um, so once I know I'm available and it's in the area that I cover, then we'll start the, um, we'll, we'll get them booked in for a Zoom meeting. Usually I like to do the meetings face to face, but obviously with what's going on, I, I have to do them at Zoom meetings uh, now. Um, in the Zoom meeting, we'll talk about how they met, you know, sort of uh, break the ice a bit. Uh, we'll talk about what they actually want from their wedding and what they're expecting. Uh, then I'll, we'll talk about um, uh, what I offer, my packages, etc. And then from there, I allow them to go away and have two weeks to sort of just have a have a think, see whether I'm the, the the photographer for the job or not. But also, this this two weeks allows them to go and potentially look at other photographers and have meetings for other top photographers. When you deal with me, I don't like uh, pressure. Um, so you know, I, I want you to make sure that you are picking the right photographer. I don't want you to come back to me after your wedding and say, "Oh, do you know what?" I didn't realize you were going to do that or, or you should have done that but so i like to make sure you you are you are 100 percent happy with the choice that you've made that's so nice to hear that actually like you say you don't like pressure because it's you're right i think with a photographer you have to get it right otherwise people people are going to look back on their photos and either be disappointed or even upset and you don't want that at all well i always say when it comes to the photography and videography, the only thing realistically you're going to have to look back at that wedding is your photos and yeah. potentially a video. Videos but getting more and more pop popular these days. So I always say, you know, you've got to make sure it's right. You've got to make sure you're, you've are you booked the right photographer because um, the last thing you want to do is regret it. Yeah. And what would you say your favourite part of a wedding is? Um, I don't know, actually. I've never been asked that question. I, I, I like quite a few sections of the day. I mean, I always play a little game with myself when uh, I'm standing at the end of the aisle to whether I think the groom's going to cry or not. Um, <laughs> so that's, quite, that's quite an interesting part. Um but I, I think I just like the connection that, you know, it's the first time the groom sees the bride, that, you know, that that's an amazing feeling for him. And, you know, if he does cry, it's quite emotional. Um, I like it when they do the speeches because, you know, you get to hear some of the stories, the background about the families, um, how they met, et cetera. Um, the first dance is always nice to watch because that as well, it gives them, you know, even if it's just five minutes, it's like a song. It gives them that time just for them without everyone bombarding them. So, you know, there, there's quite a few nice parts of the day. Did you cry at your wedding? No. Oof. My wife literally hates me for it. But <laughs> obviously, um, well, your your viewers won't know, but when Charlotte done um, the Tommy James photography story for Maisie Darling, Obviously, I said that I was in the army, so I am standing at the front of the church in my army uniform. So it wouldn't have gone well with the look if I was crying. <laughs> uh, currently, at the time, I was uh, guarding Buckingham Palace in Tower of London, so I have to go, like, you know, be emotionless. So. <laughs> was there not one tear? No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Not even when you for the first time. No, there was nothing. There was, there was no, no. Honestly, this is like an ongoing thing. It gets brought <laughs> a few times a year. Um, 
You'll never let me forget it, but no, I didn't. Oh, Have you God. ever cried at anybody else's wedding? I've come close before. Um, I can't yeah. tell you which one. There has been a couple. Um, I've come close when they when they uh, it's when they're when they're speaking to each other. It's it's the speeches that get me when he when the groom's you know telling his his wife exactly what he thinks of her and that and how you know it's 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 nice to listen to. So I have nearly gone on some occasions then, but <laughs> yeah. I'm always like a mess. <laughs> Uh, so what's your most memorable wedding that you've photographed? Um, uh, to be honest, they I can memorise every wedding. I literally can remember every wedding I've ever done. Um, Have you? Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm like an elephant with memories. I can literally remember the day as it goes for every wedding. It's um, I only have to see one photo, and it could be like a photo of a guest, and I know whose wedding it is that I've wow. done. So, um, um, I mean... The weddings I've done, they're all they're all different in their own little ways. It'd be hard to sort of pin it down to one. Um, um, Have you had like a moment that that's either really stuck in your mind or something's gone wrong? Uh, yeah, there's one really <laughs> popping into my head right now. So I was at Ansley Hall. <laughs> I was at Ansley Hall. <laughs> and um, the bride and groom had ordered doves to release. And oh. uh, I didn't know about this until it was through the welcome drinks. A lady came along and uh, she's got two cages with these doves in. And the bride had, uh, was the one that had ordered these doves. And she thought it'd be a really good idea. But she was literally having a panic attack at the thought of trying to touch this dove. Um, and in the end, she's got this dove in her hand, and I've, I, as she's letting it go, I only managed to get three photos that are any good, and one of them is her like this. <laughs> oh my god! She's that scared as as the dove is literally uh, putting its wings out and flying out. Uh, I love that. I think that's like a photo of regret. Yeah. <laughs> Why did I do this? Amy, if you're watching, I do apologise, but you know, <laughs> even you laughed at that photo. <laughs> um, can I ask a quick question about engagement shoots? Yes. Do you do them? Um, no, I don't. I, I don't advertise them. But if my if couples that are booked in with me, if it's something that they want. Um, then we can talk and I won't say no, we can do it, but it's not something that I offer. And the reason being is I feel that I'm quite easy to get on with and I don't feel that you need a styled, sh uh, sorry, an engagement shoe to uh, relax around me. I'm, you know, I can have you relaxed in front of a camera in a couple of minutes. I can have you giggling in a couple of minutes. Um, you know, when it comes to posing, I know what I'm doing. I've done this for, you know, nearly 10 years. So I know exactly how to pose you and how uh, I want you to be, be posed. So, yeah, I don't I don't think they're needed. I mean, I know their selling point is to try and, you know, make yeah. yourself feel more comfortable. But, you know, I'm, I don't think you need them. I think you'll be fine. I like that. Shall we go on to the this and that game? Yes. This is my favourite part, I think. I found a special one just for Tommy today. <laughs> Why have I got a feeling I'm going to be set up here? No. <laughs> right, OK. Are you ready? I'm always ready. Tommy James, this is your this and that. OK. So, would you rather always have to tell the truth or always have to lie? Tell the truth. Never be able to speak again or have to say everything on your mind? Um, I, I, I usually say everything on my mind anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a habit I've got. I can't keep my mouth shut. <laughs> I'm thinking it is going to come out, so that one <laughs> 
Um, would you rather be allowed to wash your hair only once a year or be forced to wear wet socks for the rest of your life? Um, I'm quite a uh, I'm quite a clean freak, so um, I I couldn't not wash my hair every day. So. <laughs> Do you have a routine for washing your hair? <laughs> uh, not really. I, I, <laughs> but I'd like to stay clean. I can remember when I was in the army, we had to go to Kenya <laughs> for six weeks, and uh, it was the worst six weeks of my life because we couldn't wash for four of them. Oh. <laughs> we just literally had a pack of baby wipes each, so you can imagine. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't know you then. <laughs> it scarred my life. Don't worry. That's why I have, to have like three showers a day now. So. <laughs> okay. Would you rather be in the real life version of The Walking Dead or be in the real life version of the American Horror Story? Walking Dead. That'd be wicked. <laughs> Would you rather have hiccups for the rest of your life? Or always feel like you're about to sneeze, but you can't? S sneeze. Okay. This one, this, this is finished. I'm going back through the other videos to see if I've <laughs> like had this sort of interview. This is <laughs> Last one. Would you rather be sticky for the rest of your life or be itchy for the rest of your life? I hate being sticky. It'd have to be itchy. <laughs> That's an answer. I love how quick you were on that one as well. I know. Yeah. That was definitely a memorable this and that. <laughs> yeah, let's wrap it all up. Tommy, can you give us one bit of wedding advice that you would give every every couple if you could? Um, is this aim just at photography or weddings in general? Anything that you like. Um, if I'm really honest, it'd be you know, do your research. Um, don't, you know, I know the excitement's there. You've just got engaged. You want to plan your wedding. I get that. Don't rush into anything. You know, do your research on all your suppliers. Make sure you are going to be going with the right suppliers. Um, you know, check their Google reviews out, check their websites, their social media, etc. cetera. Um, and do your research on, on, the, uh, on the supplier and, uh, don't be afraid to ask questions, you know, even if you think it's a silly question, no question's a silly question, you know, ask away. But also, you you want to try not to do everything via, you know, messages. Try and talk to them, whether it's on the phone, whether it's in a Zoom or something, because you want to get to know that person as well. You're not only buying into their, their um you know their trade what they're offering you're also sort of buying into their personality as well so you want to make sure that you are working with nice people that you're going to get on with and that you know are going to give you a top job that's great, that's great bit of advice. <laughs> amazing thank you so much tommy thank you for joining us and we will see you all soon okay thank you thanks tommy bye, see bye. You,